Our leaders keep saying that uh, Muslim terrorists are perverting Islam. Um, do you mean You know, with San Bernardino, the president said again that the, these Muslims were perverting the true message of Islam. How the president knows that those are perverting Islam? Why Western presidents and politicians turn to be theologians in one day? Who gives them the right to interpret Islam? Did they study it? I challenge them if they read even the biography of Muhammad. I, I, I get really mad when I hear these, these uh, statements because we lived in a Muslim society. Is Saudi Arabia perverted Islam? They are cutting the hands. They are cutting the, 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 the heads. They are even crucifying people. It's like ISIS. Who is right in the debate over whether the Quran is peaceful or violent? You see this on the internet. The way how we should interpret any text is to follow the founder. The founder of Islam, was he a peaceful person or a violent person? If you check the life of Muhammad, he was preaching his religion over 23 years. Ten of these years, the last years of his life, he lived a violent life. He conducted 83 raids. If you divide that on 10 years, almost every month and a half, he did one. And he took captives, he took women captive for himself. Three of his wives, they were from those raids. So if ISIS is doing what is doing today to the Yazidis, to the Christians, they are following the pattern that was laid out by Muhammad himself, the founder of Islam. It's not just some verses and they misunderstood them. They are following the example of Muhammad. ISIS took the Yazidis as captives. Muhammad did the same thing. ISIS um, kicked out Christians of the Mosul, and Muhammad did the same thing in Saudi Arabia. And ISIS is cutting the hands, stoning, killing. Muhammad did the same thing. So those who are defending Islam, they should let me know what is the difference between what ISIS is doing now and what Muhammad did 1,400 years ago. Our president compared Syrian, said Syrian refugees were no more dangerous than tourists. Um, the idea on the left is that Islam should not be singled out as a, as a bad religion or a different religion, that it's comparable, it's on equal footing with other religions like Buddhism or Christianity. Is it? Is it the same as other religions? No, it's not. Islam is different than other religions because the, the, the view, the Western view of a religion is something personal. It's something you do uh, for yourself. I, I don't intervene in your personal stuff. You can pray, you can fast, you can do whatever you want. It's your business. But Islam is not only prayer and fasting. It has other elements that could be a danger to the society, like implementing Sharia law. For example, if there is a majority of Muslims in a place and they want to implement um, a law, a, uh, a criminal law, they have to implement the Quran and the Sharia law because Islam does not accept any law besides Allah's law. So they have to cut the hand of a thief, they have to stone somebody who committed adultery if he's or she's married, and they have to kill the apostate who leaves Islam. So they have to do all this stuff. This is a threat for Western civilization. So Islam is not a personal religion that it just fasting and praying. It will affect every detail in um, social life. I realize everyone has their reason for going to a Western nation, but do, you, do some go with the mindset that they are colonizers? Of course. I have family members in Europe and they think the same thing. I visited them and they think that Europe, they hate Europe, they hate the West, they hate their, their way of life. So they are there to change them, not to live their lives. And they are uh, using the, the system in their favor, like they're taking advantage of it. What do you think of the statement that some have made that inside every Muslim is a potential terrorist. 
Um, that's a very strong one. I will, I will say this to make it a little bit mild. Um, um, I have lived as a Muslim and I can say hatred was implemented to us through religious texts and through the culture, through the educational system, and through the books, and through the mosque, through all these uh, tools, we have been raised to hate the West and the Western civilization. But as to the specific charge that inside every Muslim is a potential terrorist, you would say? I, w I will not say every Muslim is a potential terrorist. I will say it depends on how much he want to take his religion. Uh, some of them, they don't take it that serious to the, the, the extent that they will sacrifice themselves for it. Some of them, they just want to pray and fast and, and put a scarf or, or something like that. Some of them, they want to take it to the full sense and they want to follow Muhammad in every step. So some of them, I will say they are very good. Um, I have very good Muslim friends, but others are huge threats for, for um, our civilization.